This is living. So Baylor's running. You are now watching the 2023 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Successful dinner trip. It was cool to see that other people brought tractors and it's neat. So fancy farmer, Sharon Springs. Um, yeah, great, great food. And that's right down the road for me anyways. But alrighty, plan is to get the transfer case out of this today. We got to borrow a floor jack still. Um, I do have a transmission uh attachment floor jack transmission attachment to remove it so keith awesome appreciate it um didn't even think about it but then we'll probably borrow that when we uh go help out because even though it's gorgeous today i believe it's supposed to rain later um so there is a lot of dry hay down in places and yeah We'll probably end up helping out. So we'll see how far we get on that. Let's see. How are the cal calves doing? It looks like they did a good job on the pasture so far. I'm going to walk up there, just double check. How's everybody doing today? I don't know why the... That corner is so, so much fun for them. I'm not really sure. How are you doing, Norman? Need some water? Yeah, so I got one that's figured out the headlocks. One that's sneaking through a broken headlock spot, so we gotta weld that. I put some grain there. I'm trying to make it easier, so when the time does come that I gotta catch them for something, that they're used to working with those headlocks. Norman hasn't figured it out yet, though. So... So they haven't really figured out the whole headlock thing. They're just cheating through the one stall that is missing a cross member. But they'll get it. Yeah. If you, if they never, you got to start them somewhere. So. All right. It is getting warm today, which is a good thing. Well, they started messing around with it. You can see they grazed down. I don't know why. Something's touching. It's zapping right there. I don't dare touch it. I don't know why it's zapping there. Huh. All right. But you can see they graze down the edge. They follow the fence line around. They got plenty of grass to eat in here. That grain's more of a let's make you guys friendly and realize that grain is a good thing. And when I jingle a bucket of grain, it means come on, let's go back. So, oh, neighbors are out there riding their horses. I thought I heard somebody earlier. I forgot with the Allisons. There's a little plate down in the bottom. I was right. Uh, don't worry, everything's covered in oil because that front main seal leaks. So now look at my hands. They're pretty bad. Oh, you guys can't see that plate yet, but. Alrighty. So right in there, it is not connected. You can see a bolt hole. My uh, torque converter and flex plate are not connected, so. It failed. Um, the bolts or something. Maybe the torque converter has an issue, but I doubt it. Um, I'm going with those bolts are all snapped off. You can see there's a little line of it coming around. So, alrighty. Well, we'll keep going. I got the drive shaft off. I'm starting to take the transfer case out. Um, yeah, we got to fix that front main seal before we keep going as well. Okay, we're slowly getting things apart. It is... Uh, it's been a battle. I am working on getting the transfer case out the back off of the transmission. And then after that, I'm pretty much stopped. I can loosen some bolts, but what we really need to do is get the jack to lift it up, which 
by then we're gonna go do some trucking so we got bales to go haul um i need a freaking haircut don't i <sighs> yeah this has been a lot of fun both arms so we're definitely gonna have to do that transfer or do the front uh main seal i guess when we have it out we'll see if the back leaks at all um, it doesn't look like it's dry in there, so I think the front just failed. Nothing that I, when I put it together. So, I'll keep tinkering away on it. Kind of hard to film anything while I'm laying underneath it. And hmm. Okay, phone's always ringing. Um, if I can get these last bolts out of the transfer case... Then I'll be in a good place. Then we can go haul some bales. Um, it's going to be sooner than later here. It is almost 3 o'clock. Tinkering on this thing. <sighs> I cannot wait for the day that I put a lift in. Because if I had a lift in, the we would have been... The cab and the front end would have already been off. Um, lifted up and... That was weird. Um, lifted up and we would have been probably on our way to taking this all apart like been in a really good place so someday um but like i said before lift is not going in this bay we'd have to put concrete over there to put a lift in somewhere then we lose some storage spots so let me dive on back underneath and finish it up nothing's holding the transfer case in other than sitting on the shaft now um I was going to try to pull it and drop it down by myself, but I think it's probably a better bet if I get the jack and do it that way. Um, when it falls on me and I'm the only one around here, and yeah, not probably not a good idea. So we're going to get ready and go uh, move some hay. The, they're merging it all up. They're actually running the merger uh, with dry hay, which it works. Um, we'll get the truck started and head up there. Hey, we're on the move. we got to stop at a farm. Give a bell. Hopefully get paid. We'll we'll get paid. We're good there. And then uh then we gotta swing up to the rented ground. I got a channel sign to go. I got some master's choice signs actually coming. They called me earlier, which is good. Uh, talked for a while on that. This week we gotta trim these trees back. They're getting a little aggressive, probably finish pulling the stakes out. That way we can mow right up to the edge, keep things clean along with we're going to need it widened out so that we can fit the combine up through. So we got a lot of things to do. Alrighty, I'll jump up the road. It's sweet. Pulled in here. That truckload of bales ended up at this place and uh, up the road from me. It just worked out real good. And uh, pulled in to leave uh, the invoice and I wasn't expecting to get a check. Because usually farming, you're on 30 days. There's even some of some of the manure haul and silage stuff, you're on 60. It really depends. But got a check, and we're headed down the road. So we'll keep it moving. He said there's 700 acres of solar or something going in here. 600, 450. I don't know. A lot of hundreds of acres. That disappoints me. I'm glad I got, a lot of people when I moved into my place prior, they thought it was going to get bought by solar and wasn't going to be good, but yeah. So, alrighty, let's go load some bales. I was going to put the sign up, but I'm a little behind schedule. We got a lot of hay. Wow. Yep. There is a ton of hay to do here gonna be a good day. Well, good evening. Yeah, he's gonna get right after it. I was gonna throw a skid steer on here, but then I was like, lines aren't even hooked up. No point in messing with them. He just got done merging. Merging dry hay. Yep. There's the double rake. Look at him. Look at him happy. What a happy kid. He's had a long day, I think. How many bales are we going to do? I don't know. It's a lot. You got to chill out. You're running around like your leg's okay, but we know it's not.
got a couple of bales here to pick up never this is up like behind my house like way on the other back road and well here we are so it's extremely tight getting up in here we're actually like there's a road that runs behind all of my property well further back and that's where we are but up further in the hills he ain't goes running around like yep there we go Okay, we're gonna do some farming things. Let's go, bud. There's buffalo. Holy smokes. Hey. Got one load in the barn. So, back and back down. Gonna grab, I hope everything should fit on the next one. There is two bales that were taken. The ones that were in the baler when, we, when they started baling. So, since you need them in the baler to build the bale. So, better not hit nothing. So, back up again we go. Ah, yeah, everything's going off. got it and we'll load this load and then we'll reload and head on home well back to Aaron's place and then we got a ton of bales over there like a ton as you guys saw previously well, if you haven't noticed Aaron custom bales for people um, that is why we we're over here and that's why he did mine and there's a lot of people that said we're saying oh you should just buy your own equipment this that and then do what struggle for multiple weeks on an end on end trying to get it done um or hammer it all out really quick i think it worked out better for me this way okay we're back at their home base baylor is still going um we got robert running the one truck oh we gotta air the trailer up there we go and uh Semi. We're gonna go pick some bales up. One trailer loaded. I'm getting loaded. We got the healers out running. We got some motocross people up motoring. Isaiah's ripping. And uh, we got a gorgeous sunset coming on here. Like, absolutely gorgeous. So we should probably put it in here. But we're up here. We're gonna see how many bales we can jam on this. We're running three tall. Well, two in the front, three in the back, uh, on the flat. 50 ton land all. It, it should be able to handle it. Don't worry about the horse. Load the load the wagon. Or what is it? Don't worry about the mule. Load the wagon. That's the same. So. Doesn't get much better than this. Like, this is living. So, Baylor's running. Some of these rows he skipped earlier because... Uh, they were a little bit wetter and he wanted to let them dry down through the day. Yeah, pretty awesome. We don't have to pack them tight, tight because we're only bringing them back to the barn, but still we're three high, like I said. This is some gorgeous looking feed. Hell of a view here. So, my ground that I farm there. That's it? The ground that we got, the Brenton farm there. That's up on top of that hill, pretty much over that knoll. 
Um, yeah. Alrighty, I gotta keep moving it forward. First loads are going out. I don't even know how many bells he put on this thing. Uh, we will get it moving. We're pretty loaded. We are loaded. We're gonna jump in silage trucks. And uh, there goes one healer. There goes another barking healer. We're gonna jump in the silage trucks and go load them. Yeah. Letting the super dog air up. So we loaded both trailers, not completely because we took what bales were in that field. Made sense. They are split up into different different qualities or moisture stuff like that um so probably go to different people sell them as different standards but that's loaded one truck just left we're in the super super liner once we're aired up we'll go down we'll get this loaded this holds 16 another one you can go three high because of how the gate goes um so that holds seven i guess technically 21 you could fit in there this holds eight rows of two. Yeah. That land all, that's a hay hauling unit. I wish it was a 30, 35 ton are there or 40 tons. Um, two axle trailer instead of a three, that would be able to get more places, but you don't get a 50 ton land all with two axles, so. of it everybody thinks uh farming's oh just go to bed and just stop when it's dark doesn't work out very well so you know, gotta push hard when it's go time truck headed out now it's my turn just don't run into any bales that one right there look at that one Well, they got the trailers unloaded just about. And uh, I gotta go drop the Mac off, or drop the bales off the Mac. 175 for today? Yeah, here. Here? Tomorrow's a new day. Bales are dropped, and we're taking the Superliner home. We got another beautiful day ahead of us. Um, they're is rain predicted today but we're gonna dive into it so i appreciate you guys watching along and uh see you guys on the next one we're gonna get some bales moved and see how far we make it in the day